It's a horrible day for, for Virgin Galactic, for, for commercial space travel. Um, it's a massive setback. It's, it's horrendous for the families of the test pilot. Um, but um, uh, we've, we've now got to pick ourselves up um, and, um, and I've, I've, I've now got to motivate the 400 engineers who worked so hard on this program for the, la for, for the last few years um, and you know, find out what went wrong. Well, look, I would understand if people were more reticent now, um, but remarkably we've had, I, I, don't, I don't even know if we've had any cancellations yet, we've had um, hundreds of letters of support from all the astronauts saying they're very much sticking with the program. Um, we've even had somebody sign up yesterday to go to space with us um, to, to, show, um, show, to show support. Um, so, uh, you know, so I think people realize that um, you know, space is not easy. If it was easy, there would be a commercial spaceship company offering people trips into space. There isn't. So, um, but, it, but, you know, but, uh, but if, you know, if, the, if it's a clear-cut cause and one that can be fixed, um, you know, then I hope that we'll be back on track in about um, four to six months' time. And if not, could this be the end of your dream? Uh, if, it, if, it's, if it's something that is not fixable, then obviously it's very serious. Um, but, um, you know, but obviously we're hopeful that it'll be something that can be fixed. The wreckage is located in a large area or oriented northeast to southwest, about five miles from end to end. When the field, the debris field spans that large an area, then we know there was an in-flight separation. If it had crashed together, then all the pieces would be close to each other. But that spread of the data of the debris field tells us that it was an in-flight separation. And of course, the question then is, why did that happen? So that's what we are exploring. That's what our investigators are examining. We are not sure that one was able to eject. We know that one was out of the airplane. We don't know how that pilot got out of the airplane. Uh, we know that there was a, paragraph, a parachute that was found that where that pilot was. We know that the other parachute was found undeployed. Why one was found out of the airplane and the other one was not, we do not yet know. The question is, have we interviewed the surviving pilot? We have not because the surviving pilot is not medically, it's, it's not, the doctors do not recommend that we do an interview at this stage. We are, so we are in contact with the surviving pilot's wife and we don't want to interview that pilot before the pilot is ready.